All right, guys, we're just finishing up in this Wilson Max 3 Vitas audio room. I got Luis here. We're going to do maybe a walkthrough like we've done before. Tell you a little bit more about the individual components. We've just been filming freeform up to this point. These are sounding really good now. We did a lot of furniture moving. I don't know if you have video from, I might have gotten video from the initial plan, but this couch was here. This one was here. There were two chairs without a real sweet spot. So right now we're using extra dining room chairs for listening, but then there's a dining room table here. Kind of um, huge ceiling challenges here. But we've really, with the help of Wilson's setup procedures and our measurements, it's actually turned out really good measurement-wise. So, uh, Luis, you want to walk through some of the equipment here that you supplied and the client already had? Yes. So, um, we have, uh, the client already had these speakers. He had purchased them. Uh, he had received them here. He just moved into this property. Um, these are the Wilson Max, and we are running them with a product that we provided for him from Vitas Audio. So these are the Vitas Audio Monoblocks SM101. These are 100 watts Class A. Um, perfect power, you know, it's, it's just really clean, really powerful. It, it really does a good job about driving these speakers. And then we have the RD. The reference DAC from Vitas 101 that has an integrated streamer and we have that uh, we're actually using volume control on this unit to uh, to power the uh, the Vitas and um, that's essentially a very simple but very very well sounding uh, system I mean this system is has huge sound stage the performance in this room is really nice um, you know, it rivals reference level systems anywhere. Yeah, without a lot of, um, you know, audio file room treatments, just with proper setup, we were able to get really good measurements. Um, the room is a challenge. And when we had it a little closer to the corner, it was getting a little reinforcement. So we pulled it out and it still aesthetically worked good, um, but improved the measurements. And so... Even down the road, if he adds room treatments, things can be dialed in even more so. But yeah, we're, we're definitely not done here. Um, we're we're going to get some additional racks, probably replacing this rack in the middle with uh, some Matching. clear racks. Yeah. Um, so they can all match and, and work well together. Probably raising this a little bit more and maybe even getting a turntable in this main system uh, for the customer. And uh, he had existing Siltec wiring, which is what we're using for the interconnect speaker cables. Actually, interconnects we're using uh, Shinyata, but uh, Siltec speaker cables and power cords going to the units. Um, so definitely some room for improvement, um, but it does already sound amazing. Uh, probably further down the road, we're gonna be getting some uh, power conditioning and additional racks, a uh, possible turntable with a phono, and uh, definitely um, maybe some cable upgrades and things like that, but uh, both uh, the customer and, and, and we're happy with uh, the performance of this system, um, but yeah. very, very unique speaker, you know, it's, it's an older model Wilson, but it sounds really good. So, yeah, this is as good as I've heard Wilson's um, in a home setup for sure. And the great thing is we've been able to stay here a few days. So it's even more than a normal install where you only have maybe a few hours or half a day to a full day. We've have been here several days and been able to tweak things, listen to a lot of different reference recordings. Um, one thing I will point out, you may have noticed it says Class A here, and we're in the desert of... Um, Las Vegas, but one good thing about Vitas Audio, unlike many Class A amps, you can't uh, touch the heat sink for very long uh, because they you could almost fry an egg on them, but not these. So uh, one nice feature of the Vitas in a 
room is it's really even a class a is not going to heat up the room yeah another thing is um these components uh they put so much detail or attention to making them as quiet as possible and i mean this is as quiet as you can get in, in some of your top level components it's just dead quiet you can hear any minute detail that that comes out in the recording that you may not be able to hear with uh, higher noise floor uh, equipment with this these vita signature amps you're able to just hear any detail that that's recorded and be able to gasp the the true dynamics especially with a speaker like this because it, it, it's able to move so much air that when they have those dynamics and recordings it you know the dynamic range is so big and so grand that it, it just makes everything sound huge and, and very very type of uh, concert hall yeah realistic as if you were seeing the band play in front of you and yeah you, i'm right next to the speaker and you're not hearing any hiss um anything everything's on and everything is on um so yeah just for those who didn't see maybe an earlier video i did there are several adjustments you can make to these speakers in terms of the top module this mid-range module the angle and the distance depth wise very time consuming procedure that you go through to do those tweaks here the same thing angle as well as different types of spikes size wise that are used to control this so when you're in the sweet spot you can definitely tell that those things make a difference and um, focus the sound in a way that is very impressive so just want to mention uh, to your viewers, um, obviously th this customer had these speakers before, but we did the setup for him. So if you think that your room is not sounding the way it should, you know, we can go out to your house and, and do these types of setups for you. Uh, we have measuring equipment. Um, we have vast experience in, in being able to set up uh, gear like this and, and knowing how things sound. So, um, you know, be more than welcome to contact us at sales at 3maaudio.com for any type of service or gear. We always have pre-owned stuff, so uh, always look us up and, and you know, we'll free. We love doing this, so anytime you guys want to call and ask for advice, you know, our door is always open. Yeah, I mean, very few dealers will support and take the time to set up speakers that didn't even get bought from them. Um, and that's what we've spent a lot of time doing here. So definitely, if you just need help with setup, which can really make the difference between, you know, getting your money's worth out of these kind of speakers and being disappointed, I would definitely recommend having a professional help you set it up. And you can't get any more professional and more experienced than the guys at 3MA pretty much nationwide. So... Let's go ahead and wrap up here, but we have a second system that oh, we yeah. set up here, and let's there's, go do that two one. two more systems, <laughs> and, and that's going to be exciting. So we'll do a walkthrough on those and, uh, yeah. and, and get, our, our, uh, get some listening done on those and, and some tuning for sure. Okay. So we'll, we'll see you in the next systems. All right, guys. We'll see you back here All right, soon. guys. Look what we have here. System number two. The legendary B&W Nautilus, and as usual, we have Luis here to run down the various equipment. Some of the stuff you may not be familiar with. So this is a very special treat. Usually, um, very rarely do we get to set up a speaker like this. Uh, Bowers and Wilkins flagship Nautilus speaker. Um, what's very unique about this speaker is that it has uh, active crossovers, and it's a four-way speaker. So being a four-way speaker, you uh, need to have four channels of amplifiers for each of the speakers. So a total of eight channels of amplification for the pair of speakers. And we are using Gold Note PA1175s, stereo power amps. We need four of them to be able to drive the speaker. Um, so one of the reasons why you rarely see a speaker like this in anybody's home is because uh, of the amount of cables, interconnects, um, amplification channels that you need. The speaker actually comes with the, the speaker cable and then you just connect that to your amplifiers. But it is 
an iconic design. It is what started essentially Bowers and Wilkins tapered tube design. The reason they do that design is to make it seem like the uh, driver is floating in air, essentially preventing any back reflections from inside of the cabinet from affecting the sound of the driver itself. So it's a very, very unique speaker, very iconic, and it's a special treat that we got to set these up at the customer's house. And I hope you enjoy the, the audio tracks that we're gonna be playing. Um, we're running uh, Vita's uh, line stage and a Gold Note DS10 DAC with a power supply. That's taking care of the, uh, the digital portion. And then we have a Plinius uh, phono stage and a project turntable. So we're still, we still have some work to do here. Um, Art Novia, we installed oh yes. that. We just installed the Art Novian. Um, these are the Lagos and it looks, it goes very well with the racks and the look of the room um, with the black and, and goldish color. The, uh, these are diffractors, so it, it helps um, diffract the sound and, and prevent reflections from hitting your ear. Um, and it looks amazing. It's a wood product made in Portugal. They're all handmade. The wood products of uh, Art Novian are handmade, so very high quality stuff. Not like the stuff you find on Amazon or eBay. No, for sure. Yeah, we picked this up at the distributor. I'll have video footage of that. If it, and uh, these are different depths, if you can't tell from the video. These are substantial, and they come with templates to help you do this design much easier than most that come, you know, Amazon cheap stuff where you have to just guesstimate. This is, you know, the professional way of doing things. And again, some people say back wall reflections aren't that important, but, you know, everything in the room hit, gets hit with sound. So there's also a, a great aesthetic component to these that are unmatched. They match the uh, black and gold. They come in a variety of colors, and you've probably seen it in my previous videos. My friend Doug got these as well. So, um, yeah, in this room, the house has really just been moved into in the last few weeks, right? Yes, that's right. So a lot of these rooms, um, this is the first chance to do anything in them. So these are all work in process in terms of room treatments and getting things dialed in. But I can tell you, this is my first time hearing the Nautilus myself. And they are phenomenal speakers. The thing that is so remarkable about these is everybody looks at these and thinks they're done just for the artistic value. But like Luis was saying, the lack of cabinet resonances with no parallel walls and the way they structure this is actually for performance purposes. And when you look at the front, to have no baffles for each driver is really um, another performance level thing because you don't have the baffle reflections. So all of this design is cool looking, but there's a method to the madness. And it's just, that's why it's so iconic. and has really put B&W on the map as a legendary speaker designer. So uh, I know that it's been a treat for me to help put this together and listen to them. So I'm gonna play some tracks. Anything else, Luis, you wanna share? I mean, the, these speakers, although they're uh, from the design, designed in the 90s, um, they're still made today. Um, they're, they're retail for $60,000 and you know, you can still order them, you can custom color them, you know, custom paint them, and uh, still made the exact same way like they were in the 90s. And, and that tells you how much, uh, you know, ahead of its time it was when, when this got designed. And a lot of the technology that got developed from this speaker trickled down into their current series, their 800 series, when they get the mid-range and the in that tapered aluminum uh, cast aluminum housing and the tweeter in that billet aluminum housing uh, with that same tapered design that it, it all came from this right it's a special speaker um, maybe you can link uh, there's a video that we did about how to actually connect this and explains a little bit more about the separation of the frequencies between the drivers maybe you can link it in the comments and People can, can watch that if they want to know a little bit more about this speaker particularly. 
Yeah, absolutely. Being an act of crossover, you know, this is a, another unique and positive. Each channel, as he said, has its own driver. And this is two mid ranges. It's not a super tweet. Some people might see this as a super tweeter. That's the tweeter, upper mid range, lower mid range, and then bass driver. So without further ado, let's just get to some listening tracks. And by the way, be sure to call 3MA. They still sell these, like you said, they're in current production. And the key as well is having a dealer like 3MA that can help set these up because it's no small task at all. And, um, you know, you spend this kind of money, it's worth it to have somebody that can set it up properly. All right, we'll see you back here soon with tracks. Okay, guys, we've got one more system to walk through at this phenomenal house. This is uh, the gentleman's office, and he's always wanted... Yeah, let's talk about real quick, Luis, what inspired him to pick these three speakers. It was the Wilson Max, the BMW Nautilus, and these avant-garde. Yeah, um, the customer, as a child, uh, where he grew up, he, his, his uncle uh, was into audio, and he had a Pioneer system, and he heard some avant-garde, and he's always wanted avant-garde, as well as saw the uh, BMW Nautilus when they were released and, you know, very popular in the early 2000s. Um, and, you know, as he always wanted those types of speakers in his house, and uh, now he has all three. And then his uh, uncle had Wilson Audio, so he was able to get a very nice pair of Wilson audio, the uh, Avangard Duo XD, um, Uno Fino XD, uh, which are the speakers we're looking at right now. And these are actually the speakers that are at his office. So while he's working um, and not in meetings, he's able to listen to some very nice tunes from a very high-end speaker. Um, these are particularly unique because um, out of the three speakers, they are the only ones that are horn loaded. Um, so they're very efficient, they need very little power. And the bass on these speakers is, uh, it's a powered speaker, so it's an active bass driver. So the Avangard actually has a power amplifier in the back of it, gets a signal from the uh, stereo integrated power amp that we have on the bottom, which is the phenomenal Vitas SIA25. It's uh, the SIA25 MK2. This is an actual pure class A 25 watt stereo integrated power amp. It is a beast. It weighs more than most 300 watt stereo power amps in the market. It is a phenomenal sounding unit and it works extremely well with a speaker like these Avangard XDs because they are a very high efficient speaker and they are able to get loud with very little power. So um, in his office system, we still have some more things to, uh, to, to improve as well. Um, we're getting him some different DACs with, uh, we're going to put a Rune system in his house. So he's able to use Rune in all three of his rooms. Um, and essentially play the same track in all three rooms if he decides to. So in his office room, uh, he will sometimes sit in the couch and listen to music or sit at his desk and uh, have some background music while he's working. And I mean, it's a, it's a phenomenal way to, to work from home and, and enjoy music while you do so. I think the, you know, the day goes by with a lot less stress when you have something like this, uh, instead of just having to be at meetings after meetings, so. Yeah, I mean, can you imagine having this as your office system? It's just killer. Obviously the room, because again, he just moved into his house a few weeks ago, uh, window treatments and artwork on the wall, a lot of things that are echoing right now, probably as you hear my voice, are short-term issues that, you know, obviously mitigate some of the max performance. Uh, but 
like I said, he's he's got these as a, some of his favorite speakers of all time, and now he's got all three of his favorite speakers. Couldn't find a nicer guy, though. I'm so happy he did finally make it and able to get these. He's, it's been a real pleasure to work with him and stay at his house the last few days. So um, this was just a rare treat. And as well, a treat to see 3MA in action setting up these systems. And again, a lot of this gear he bought prior to even knowing about 3MA. And 3MA has been supporting all of these pieces and helping set it up and make sure the customer's happy because that's what is the forefront of how they do business. So again, guys, hope you enjoyed this video series. Anything else, Luis, you want to add? No, I mean, we'll play some uh, tracks for you in, in this system. I, you know, just make sure you understand that this is a very different speaker. This is a horn loaded. Um, so it will sound a little bit different than all the, uh, both of the others, which is really nice. I mean, if you're going to have different rooms, might as well get different types of speakers, not get the same speaker uh, in all three rooms because it just be very repetitive that way you can listen to different things and and have that unique experience every time you sit in a different room um, these are active uh, speakers so it, it has great bass performance and you will hear some of that bass performance um, come through in the recordings so Anytime you guys need any help setting anything up, again, feel free to email sales at 3maaudio.com, comment below. We're more than happy to help with any questions or any concerns or even advice if you guys need some. Uh, we carry some of the top lines uh, from you know our industry uh, and we're happy to give you any advice or any recommendations on that. Great. All right, so let's get to some listening, and uh, we'll stay tuned and be back soon.